charged particles in electric fields. We can deflect beams of electrons by using electric fields. Here we have two metal plates, a distance d apart, with a potential difference v across them. The electric field between the plates will be given by the potential difference divided by the separation. Here we have a particle carrying charge Q. Being a positive charge it will be attracted towards the negative plate and repelled from the positive plate and will experience a force F where the force F is given by the electric field strength multiplied by the charge. But here we've said that the electric field strength is potential difference over separation and so the force is equal to the potential difference multiplied by the charge Q divided by the separation D. So if the charge is moving to the right like this it will constantly experience the same downwards force F. This is the same situation as projectile motion in a gravitational field and the particle will therefore follow a parabola just like a projectile. The horizontal motion will be constant and there will be vertical acceleration. So our charge will follow a path something like this. Let's look at an example of dealing with the charged particle motion in an electric field in the same way that we deal with projectile motion in a gravitational field. An electron beam passes through two metal plates five centimeters apart with a potential difference of 2.5 kilovolts between them. In travelling 15 centimetres along the plates, the beam is deflected by 2 centimetres. What is the initial velocity of the beam? Well, just like when dealing with projectile motion in a gravitational field, I'm going to collect my data in the horizontal and the vertical directions, using S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V the final velocity, a the acceleration and T the time. The horizontal displacement will be the 15 centimetres that the electrons travel along the plates. Putting that in SI units is 0.15 metres. The initial horizontal velocity I need to find. The final horizontal velocity will be the same as the initial as the acceleration in the horizontal direction will be zero. I don't necessarily need the time, though it may help me in my calculation. The vertical displacement is the 2 cm deflection, again in metres. The initial vertical velocity will be zero. The final vertical velocity is not needed. The vertical acceleration will be given by the force divided by the mass. The force is given by the electric field strength multiplied by the charge on the electron, divided of course by the mass of the electron. The electric field strength was given by the potential difference divided by the separation, so we end up with this term for the acceleration. I could of course work out a numerical value for the acceleration, making sure I get the full number in my calculator to avoid rounding errors, but I'm going to keep this term in until the end. Firstly, I'm going to try to find the final vertical velocity v using v squared equals u squared plus 2as. This term is of course zero and for the acceleration I need to use this. Giving v squared is equal to two times the potential difference multiplied by the charge on the electron divided by the separation and the mass of the electron and multiplied by the vertical displacement. This then is with all the numbers put in place and it gives a vertical velocity of 1.9 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. I'm going to add this figure now to my table of data for reference. Next I'm going to try to find the time in the vertical direction which will be the same as the time in the horizontal direction. For this I can use V equals U plus AT, rearranging for T, not forgetting U is zero, which gives 
these values giving a time of 2.1 nanoseconds. I'm going to put that figure here and also here. All that remains is to use velocity is equal to displacement over time in the horizontal direction. Putting in the values gives an initial horizontal velocity of 7 times 10 to the 7 meters per second.